Bobby Zamora's 1 to 11. Ray, this is a part of the show I've been looking forward to. Yep. Looking forward to this all week, actually. It's your turn. Uh, your best 11 made up from players you have played with. You've got your pen, you've got a bit of paper. Well, I've been extremely fortunate in my career to have played with lots of guys, lots of great footballers. Um, but in goal would be Peter Shorten. Why, sh why Shields? Well, probably one of the best goalkeepers. He's played over 120 times for England as well. Um, fantastic shot stopper. Not the greatest on crosses, I would have to say. But I, I think for dedication, for professionalism, Shields is just about... Bentley Clements, was he? Well, it was a great contest. Yeah. We were very fortunate, and we've always been fortunate in this country to have great goalkeepers. And that was a fabulous contest. It got to the stage once with Ron Greenwood, where they actually took alternate games, yeah. at the, because they were both that good. Clem, if anything, was a little bit more aggressive. A lot more aggressive <laughs> than what Shields was, but nevertheless, a great we'll shot. Start. Stopper. Where do you want to start? Right to uh, left? Yeah, what formation have you got here, right? I've got a 4 3 3. Okay. So I had the pleasure of playing with this young man, Paolo Maldini, yeah. at AC Milan. And at, even at the tender age of 17, when he started, he was as good then as when he finished at, at 37. Just an unbelievable athlete. If he wanted to play centre forward, he could. Uh, he, he had it all. He was a good-looking bloke yeah. as well, which was a real pain in the backside. <laughs> but he, he really literally had it all. Nurse, you played yeah, I played. He's the best player I've ever played against. Was he? Yeah, I, you know, I played against him twice and never got a kick. Mm. I mean, as you say, good-looking as well. Yeah. I mean, you don't mind if you get marked out of the game by Martin <laughs> Keown, do you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Fair shout. Right. Fair shout. So my, my right side is centre-half would be Dave Watson, the old Manchester City centre-half. I was asked by Ron Greenwood on one occasion to play sweeper for England against Northern Ireland. And when you're taken out of your comfort zone, Merce will tell you, and especially when it's defensively, um, you have a little bit of a panic up. Mm. And I was a little bit panicky, but as soon as I knew Dave was playing there, a, a real winner of a centre, fantastic in the air, and a proper defender. So I've gone for Dave okay, there. Alongside him is the best player that I've ever played with in my life, is Franco Baresi oh, at AC Milan. Um, so I played, again, I played with Franco for three years. I think he missed two games. Just a brilliant professional. Two feet like a centre forward. Uh, the technique was fantastic. Quick. Mm. Great. And this fellow had everything. You know, if his grandmother was through to, to score a goal, unfortunately he'd kick his grandmother as well. <laughs> but he was the best player that I've ever played with. Oh, I was going to ask you a question about him, but I think you answered it. Because I, I played... I was lucky enough to play against him at AC Milan. And... I was going to say, how well you just answered it? How how would he have coped in this day and age? Because when I played against him, I played centre forward, and every time the ball got cleared, he would sprint ten yeah. yards. Yeah. And by the time I ever got the ball, I was knackered. We but never... in this day and age, everybody comes up. Yeah. That man's not offside anymore. But he, as you just said, he would have just changed his game. He was just been. unbelievable. It, and at left back, um, probably England's second best ever left back after Ashley Cole, Kenny Sampson, who for me was yeah. just. Outstanding. Lucky enough to play three, three in the midfield? Three in the midfield. Okay. Who have we got? But Kenny was absolutely brilliant. And if, if people ask me about left full backs, Ashley Cole's the best, and then Kenny comes straight after. Brilliant. Holding midfield player, used to hate playing against him, Jock Souness. <laughs> <laughs> but. What player? Oh, fantastic footballer. And in this midfield three that I've got, he would complement the others fantastically. On the right hand side, I've got possibly one of the most talented footballers yep. that has ever graced our shores in Glenn Hoddle. I think Hoddle, Best, Gascoigne are probably the three of that type that, that I've ever seen. Great technique. Hoddle could pass teams to death. On the left-hand side, we've got Brian Robson, who from box to box was absolutely unbelievable. An engine that's second to none, aggressive in the middle of the pitch. Now, Bobby was talking about ball winners. Well, I've got two in there, but I've got a little bit more yeah. with Robbo bursting forward as well. On the right-hand side of my three, probably most dependable footballer I think I've ever played with is Steve Koppel. He was a roommate of mine, Steve. But when you talk about playing as a team person, and you need it, whatever team you pick, you need players in there mm. that can, can play as a, as a unit. And Stevie was brilliant, and it was such a shame when his career yeah. uh, ended. And on the left-hand side, we've got a very similar player, but Don Adoni. Oh, what a from AC Milan yeah. when I don't know. You've got yeah. some perms in there, haven't you? Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Home perm. Yeah. There's a couple yeah. of home perms. I think it? the envy's coming out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the envy's coming out. But Don Adoni was really talented. He was, uh, he was a fantastic footballer. Two great feet, so he could have played either side. 
but two great feet. And probably the best, uh, I, could, I could have put several in here. I could have yeah. had Peter Osgood, Les Ferdinand, Frank Stapleton. But I've they didn't have perms. No, exactly. <laughs> but I've gone, <laughs> I've gone for another perm <laughs> with Kevin Keegan. You know, Kevin uh, was obviously European Football of the Year, and, and I played in the national side with Kevin. But he wasn't gifted as a footballer, but if you ever talk about desire and will to want to improve as a footballer, then Keegan was probably the best example that I've ever seen in my life. He, his, his physique was incredible, he, he could run all day long, and of course he would score a goal as well. So that's how I've come to the conclusion. Not a bad team, cool. not a bad team. Have a little look at that. Hey. What a team.